Hi guys, um, welcome back. Alex and I are meeting again this week um, because we're starting a new school year and it's this wild, unprecedented time of virtual schooling. Some people are doing half and half, some people are fully at home and we know it's a little weird for everybody. Alex and I are working from home and so we thought that we would share with you guys some tips and tricks around um, working from home, schooling from home, getting back into a routine uh, that are helpful for us. And, you know, we always want to hear from you guys, like what's helpful for you. Um, but so what I thought of, what works for me is that I need to create a workspace that feels good to sit at, that looks pretty. And again, like we say, doesn't have to be expensive. You know what I mean? Like it can just be if you have a picture of your family that you like to look at or flowers or maybe you just really like a minimalist workspace. But I notice that when I sit down somewhere that feels and looks good, I'm more focused. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that makes total sense. And I think what you said about um, how for some people, for some people it might be simple looking for some people it might have flowers and it could look totally different for uh, many people so there isn't like a right way to have your station to um the right way to have your station but i think it's important to have at least some sort of designated spot for your work so. yeah, and i think like that also cues you um okay like when i sit here yeah. I'm focused and i'm working well, I sit here on the couch to work, but I also watch Netflix, so sometimes I'm tempted, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's easy to <laughs> fall into that yeah. um, when you are doing work from home, but um, staying focused usually makes the work go by faster. It really does. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to share another one that it's a little bit different because you don't only have to do this for school or work. You can just do this like every single day. But um, I like to keep like a notebook or a journal by my nightstand so that if I catch my mind wandering, I just write it down. Or if I catch me thinking like, oh, I need to remember to do this by tomorrow and I'm just in bed and I will just think right. about it, think right. about it, think about it when really I could just write it down and then I don't have to think about thinking about it because <laughs> it's written down <laughs> and I don't have to remember anything and then I can go back and look at the list and uh, I find that helpful whenever, even not, even when it's like just any time of day if I'm feeling overwhelmed I just like stop and write things down just to get it out there so I highly recommend I love that yeah and I have a note it's funny you say that because um someone just gave me like a little journal and mm -hmm. the cover of it says write it down you know because Perfect. it's better out you know and having it visible like you're saying like by your bed or whatever like I think that's such a great idea. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay, so my second tip is that at about every hour, you know, if it's an okay stopping point in your day, mm -hmm. I like to get up and take a movement break. And whether it's like dancing to a song or stretching or literally walking outside mm -hmm. and coming back in, like just not sitting, yeah. you know, and it helps me feel a little refreshed. And it also helps me stay awake because sitting down and working just at a computer all day makes me tired. And so getting up and dancing, like, it's really helpful for me. Yeah. And I think it kind of gets the endorphins going again. And I know... Um, I remember when I would be in class, if everyone was kind of being quiet, no one was participating, the teacher would be like, all right, let's stand up, let's get the body, body moving. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of wakes you up, like you were saying. And um, yeah, I can look so many different ways. Like for me, sometimes it's just walking to my mailbox that's a little bit farther down the road, or it's um, ch running around my apartment so my cat will chase me. <laughs> It can be a bunch of things, um, and I think it's important to put those breaks in, even if they are short. 
So that kind of leads me um, to my next point, which was to prepare for meetings at least like five minutes beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, we all know, um, I'm sure people, everyone's experienced some sort of technical difficulty. Nice. Something um, always tends to happen to someone. Um, so if you just give yourself that extra few minutes so that you can spend that extra time having your Wi-Fi reconnect, or if you realize that your laptop's about to die and you need to go find your charger, or if you need to go dance to a song for three minutes before your next Zoom, it just gives you um, a little bit of time so you're not like completely stressed about doing everything like right away. I know for me, I like to feel prepared for something. I am always early. I'm not late to things because it's just like for my, uh, my anxiety. Um, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be a few minutes early for your Zoom meeting. You're not going to get in trouble by your teacher or anything like that. No, and what I notice is exactly what you're saying. Like, if I'm just on time or maybe running late and my mm -hmm. Wi-Fi disconnects or I can't type in the Zoom password right, yeah. I get so stressed. But if I do that and it's 10 minutes before the meeting or five minutes before the meeting, I'm like it's fine. Yeah. And so I think it's so helpful for our mental health and our stress level to do what we can to kind of mitigate those little like tech problems and feel okay. So yeah, I'm, that's a really good reminder. Um, my last tip is, and again, this is one that's going to look a little bit different for everybody, but with your notes for school, or maybe you keep a planner or whatever it is that you're physically writing and making. Um, I try and make, make mine like aesthetically pleasing to look mm -hmm. at, pretty. And I'm going to show my favorite highlighter set that are these beautiful pastel highlighters. And I know it sounds kind of silly if you haven't done that before, but I always know that when I make really messy notes and they're chaotic, mm -hmm. I don't want to look at them again. But if I, you know, take the time to like make them nice and pretty to look at, I'm like, okay, like I feel proud of these. I understand what they're saying. They're helpful. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to offer in is that uh, typically we kind of talk to our families that we work with if they have all of their school supplies um, mm -hmm. for the year. And school looks a little bit different. So people might need different uh, school supplies this year. And I just want to offer to anyone watching that if something stuck out to you in this video or other things, um, reach out to Alex or I, and we can kind of work with you and see if we can make it work to uh, find what you need to make school a little bit easier because it's just, it's different this year. Yeah. And I think that's super important and it's perfect for my last little tip. And it's, it's very simple, but also not simple at all. <laughs> it's to communicate when you're struggling. Um, I think it's very important to remember that this is new for all of us and it's not gonna go completely smooth. And there's gonna be ups and downs, but we all need to be patient with each other. We need to communicate. And again, like Lauren said, reach out to us if you would like um, support, whether it's problem solving, brainstorming, coming up with some sort of plan or helping you find the supplies you need. That's something that we really wanna be able to help um, you all with. And um, just remember that we're all going through this together and you're not the only one that's feeling a little funny about it and that's totally normal but I think Lauren and I want to um, set you all up for success as much as we can so we will keep our eyes out for different tips different resources and make sure that we get anything to you that we think might benefit you so we hope that you all have a wonderful wonderful first day of school um, I hope it goes so great and if you already had your first day of school I hope it was great and um, enjoy the last few days of summer and hopefully you don't get too hot. <laughs> Keep cool as much as you can and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.